day, my people. And I will say welcome to the new country of Serbia. I am, I have been here for a little bit now, but I've been helping my friend uh, with his opening of his new restaurant and working online. So I haven't really got out and done any exploring around. This is actually my first day out. And I wasn't even going to film today, but I saw something that might be pretty amazing. Because I'm actually like one hour and a half walk from the city center of Belgrade, where it has a lot of the tourist attractions. So I haven't got that far yet. But as I said, I see something. And uh, hopefully I can make it to it. The traffic's a little bit different than I'm used to. Let's see. But, um, yeah. Pretty busy place. mosque so we're going to see if we can get into the mosque I see people up that way but uh and I have a head covering that I carry with me at all time so let's wait our turn to cross the street and we will shall go nice beautiful grounds So let's go and see if we can get inside. Feels good in the shade. How beautiful is that? <laughs> Make me want to stand in there. I'm sure it's cool. Oh, I have a little church over that way as well. Look at my hands just very sweaty. Shiny little park. Nice little area. Maybe we'll visit the church later if they allow us. Now I know nothing about this um, this uh, mosque. Forgot the name. Goodness, because like I said, I was just out for a walk. I didn't expect to uh, come across, but you know, it looks like a mosque. But I'm thinking it's a church. We will find out. I think so. They're lighting candles. So I have to find out what the rules are. So let's see. Let's go inside and find out. We are in. Wow. All I can say is wow. How amazing. 
That's why I love going into these. And they would say at one time it was a mosque, but now it's a church. Oh, amazing. Look at that. They've got the floor covered, I guess, so it won't get dirty. But this is absolutely stunning. Let me see if I can bring it in closer. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. You know, you wonder if that's real gold or just that gold, uh, I forget what they call it. Gold, uh, yeah, whatever. But pretty amazing, right? Absolutely stunning. So beautiful. Well kept. I don't know how old uh, this uh, place is. Just amazing. My hands are so sweaty it's hard to keep a hold of the camera. <laughs> Just amazing. Look at that. I have no idea who these people are. But we're sure that they're important in the religious sector of life. Here it is. Charity for the 
constructioning of St. Sava's Temple. So I guess that's the name of the, that's a temple. So it doesn't really say church or mosque. It's just so amazing. So that was pretty cool. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. And very big. So we're gonna go over here to this, uh, what I believe to be a church, and see if we can get in there. So we will see you over there. So this is a little bit odd selling such things outside of the church, but I'm not one to judge, just pointing it out. <laughs> Let's see if we can get into that. I'm pretty sure that's a church. Or it might be actually connected. Not physically, but let's see. I do believe it might be open. I'm not sure if I can get a splash of water here. See how this thing works. My hands are so slippery. Oh, check that out. Oh, feels good. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I almost held the whole thing out. Okay, it turned off by itself. <laughs> Tricky little things. Oh, check that out. You want to say hi? <laughs> it was like, woman, get out of my way. So I think we can go in here. I did see the door open, so let's see what happens. Must have been something there at one time. See. I don't know if we can film. I don't know her allowed pictures, but I will find out. Wow, this is just as amazing. The time they spin paintings. Absolutely amazing. It almost looks like wallpaper, but I'm sure it's painting. Like there are no empty spaces. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Look at that chandelier. Absolutely amazing.
was pretty amazing. I was impressed. And what impressed me the most is that they, there was no room on the wall where there was no paintings or anything. Pretty amazing. Loved it. You know I love those. What a busy place. So I made it at my next destination. I saw that it was only a 13 minute walk from the uh, churches we just came from. And this is the uh, Nikola Telsa Museum. And if you can see the lineup, I didn't expect that one. I guess a lot of people want to get in there and see. So, I guess we have to get in the lineup. Okay, I waited for some of the people to, um, for the line to get shorter and it got short real fast. So let's cross the street. Look both ways, even on a one-way street. <laughs> I don't know if you can take video, pictures. I don't even know if it cost, but let's find out. And I noticed they let so many people in. Well, they let so many people out, then they let people in. Hello. Can film? Uh, only uh, photo. Only photo, okay. Unfortunately, I'm not going in. Um, you cannot take video for one, only pictures. For two, it's a little bit out of my budget. Sad to say. So, uh, and the other thing, uh, I heard a woman on a loudspeaker talking. I really don't care for those kind of museums where they talk. I like to explore on my own. So, let's find something else. Actually, food. <laughs> I was recommended to get a Hamburg here in Serbia, Belgrade, because it's the best in the world and it was recommended by somebody from Canada and the thing is huge and then I got french fries with it which I probably shouldn't have because I probably won't eat both of them and I want to say the french fries were well dipped in grease but no complaints I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did Leave a comment down below and subscribe and join me on my journey on my 20th country. Yeah, I know. I have to pinch myself sometimes. I can't even believe it. But it's been an awesome journey. So stay with me.